What is happening, collectors? I am in the Las Vegas airport right now. And I've been a little MIA. I've been away for the last little while, last week, kind of taking a break. And it's been good. I've been in Las Vegas and I, I got, I definitely got a lot of sleep. Just, just a lot of sleep. Anyways, back at home, I have a bunch of the new latest Pokemon products that I ha I'm really excited to open. And I just haven't opened anything in a while, but I, it was time for me just to take a bit of a breather. So I figured I would come to Las Vegas. In fact, I was actually out in Tampa Bay as well. So I've been traveling a lot for the last week and uh, I'm headed back home. So uh, yeah, just I'm, I'm excited to get back at it. But um, let's get into the studio with uh, after a little quick montage. Let's go. We are back in the studio. Yes, I was away in Las Vegas. I was in Tampa Bay. It was nice, honestly, take a break. But I did miss you guys. I did miss opening packs. So we're gonna do that today. And I'll tell you a little bit about my trip as well. So we are actually opening up this Lucario V-Star. I also received over my, my my shoulder here, you can see the Morpeko, and then I got the, uh, the Evolution tins as well. So over the next couple videos, you are gonna be seeing that, but I was away for a little while. Wow, this box comes with a lot of goodies. So I'm gonna crack into these, we're gonna have a look at it. And uh, yeah, as, as you could tell from the video, I was tired, <laughs> I was tired. And it is a couple days later actually. So um, uh, here we go, let's see. We got Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike, Chilling Rain, Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike, Fusion Strike. So we've got three Fusion Strike, a Chilling Rain and two Brilliant Stars. So that's a nice, that's a nice little assortment. That's pretty good there. We've got the Jumbo Lucario V-Star. Very, very nice. The V-Star marker, we got this really cool pin. Like that is just a really, really, there we go. Nice and focused pin. That is awesome. A Jumbo Lucario coin. Everything seems to be Jumbo now, which is very interesting. They maybe just don't make the small coins anymore. I don't know. It is funny how the co the, the, uh, the Jumbo cards shrunk, but the coins grew. I don't know what the decision behind that was, but here is this, look at this beautiful full art. It's got some whitening on it, sadly. It's not perfectly cut, but it is a very, very nice Lucario V. And that's probably worth, I'm guessing that's worth a couple bucks. I mean, I love the vibrancy of these cards. They're just so nice. And now we have got the Lucario V Star. So that is nice. So this is a Sword and Shield 215, and the full art is 213. So uh, nice, nice collection of cards. So yes, I was in Las Vegas and uh, I definitely got so much sleep. It's amazing how much sleep I, I received in Las Vegas. I went out and had a good time. I have had the pleasure of visiting Las Vegas a number of times. So uh, I do enjoy, um, I enjoy looking around. It's a fun, it's a fun city to, uh, ooh, I see a little something in this pack already. Um, uh, and then in Tampa was T Tampa was a lot of fun as well. Got to got to get a golfing. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. So, but I'm happy to be back. Thank you very much for giving me that little break, everybody. That was a much needed. Breloom Basculin. We've got a Grubbin Mankey Krogon. Hopefully, I didn't I wasn't wrong when we saw something there. Rotom Reverse. And we there we go. Starting off the right way with Shauna. I feel like I may have pulled this one already. I can't remember, but it is a full art trainer, so that is uh, that's that's awesome. I like that she's you know she's cracking the knuckles. It looks like she's about to kick my butt in uh, in a poke battle. That's for sure. We're we're about to battle, and she's just stretching. Well, that is a good first start. Look at that. It is a black code card, which makes sense. Which makes sense. We've got the new code card system here, but I'm trying my best to keep it a secret if I can because it is still nice to to not ruin the surprise. Alrighty, well, let's see if we can go two for two with this, starting with some darkness energy. The three amigos, Zora Arc, we've got a Kufant, Gligar, Slugma Skitty, Phalanx Phantom Reverse, and we've got a Vicavolt non-holographic. Moving on to the next pack of Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike is a massive set, largest set Pokemon has ever released, um, but it does have some nice full arts. It has some nice, um, Rainbow Rares as well, uh, and alternate arts, and that's what I'm most excited about are the alternate arts from this set, so. All right, here we go. Quick Ball, Shh, Helios, Indeedee, Growlithe, Phalanx, Morpeko, and I'd love to know, let's leave a comment down below. Have you ever been to Las Vegas 
and what was the coolest thing you did in Las Vegas? That's gonna be the question. Now, I'm gonna tell you, uh, maybe oh, Dragapult holographic. That's good. I might need that card actually. So I'm going to tell you some of the cool things I've done in Las Vegas or maybe the coolest thing, maybe not the coolest thing, but a very cool thing that I did. I didn't do it this trip. Um, this trip, I actually did do a little bit of a zip line, which was cool. Something I've always wanted to do. Uh, but there is a hotel called the Stratosphere and it looks an awful lot like the Space Needle uh, in Seattle. Or for the Canadians, it looks like a miniature version of um, the CN Tower, as an example. And what you can do is you can actually jump off of it um, 108 floors, if I'm not mistaken, and you can kind of rappel down. It's not quite a free fall. feels like a free fall. But I did that a couple years back, and boy, was it a lot of fun. Um, beautiful view of, of the Strip, which is very nice. So that's the coolest thing. One of the coolest things I have done in Las Vegas, so I'd love to hear down below what you guys have done and if you've never been to Las Vegas what is the coolest thing you'd want to do when you were there Avery reverse and we have got a tesserina non hollow now we're getting to the main course which is brilliant stars but you know what I think it is important um, to take breaks regardless what you're doing whether it's uh, in life or, or whatever um, it's important to take a break um, recharge the batteries sometimes and uh, it was kind of nice to, to step away for a little bit and, and take a break because for the better part of two years, I have not missed a week. I've posted at least one video per week for the last two years. Uh, in some weeks, I remember there were weeks I was posting up to five videos. So um, it was nice, nice to kind of take a break. So appreciate that. Ball toy, leave a like on this video if you could as well. And, and for those that haven't seen me before, my name is Mark, I'm the Millennial Collector. Please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. You will not regret it. That go lurk. There is a code. All right, we are going to finish with the Whimsicott pack because if you guys remember, the Whimsicott pack is where the best pulls are. That has always been my theory. Um, I think I pulled some Charizards out of it. I don't remember which. I don't remember which Charizards, but let's hope that we can get some more uh, luck today. Something that I need. Um, I've done pretty well, honestly, with this set. Uh, Brilliant Stars has been a fun set to open, but. Let's see if we can get something else we need today. Even a reverse haul would be nice. It'd be nice. Eggs, we've got a Grimer, Clefairy, a Gibble reverse, and we are finishing with a Boss's Order holographic. I, I might need that, I can't remember. And right down below, you're gonna see an awesome video that you're gonna wanna watch and one that YouTube recommends for you. So please, again, consider subscribing, leave a like. We'll see you in the next video. Have an amazing day. I definitely got a lot of sleep. Just, just a lot of sleep.